Welcome back Academy for Dental Assistance. Today we are going to be explaining IRM and Cabot and we'll jump right in. First you'll want to start with your PPE, your personal protective equipment, your gloves, jackets, your masks, and your goggles or glasses. Today this is a IRM. It's an intermediate restorative material, which is a powder and a liquid. It is used for a sedative filling. The doctor makes a preparation in the tooth. And if it's deep or the patient's having some sort of symptoms for pain, we can place this inside of the tooth in hopes that that will go away. It can be left for a week to two, three weeks, and then we remove it and place the filling in hopes that everything gets back to normal and the tooth heals and goes well. So before we mix it, we always want to fluff the material. <clears throat> We have with that a scoop. We have a glass slab, a metal spatula. This instrument could be a, called a beaver tail, a Woodson, a plastic instrument, also has the condenser side. They go by many names. They do a lot of the same functions. So after we fluff the material, we're going to just open it. Always make sure your mask on because a lot of the fumes come out. The, from the powder. We're going to take this and just kind of wipe it off on the side. I'm just going to put one over here. I've kind of got a small prep in there. I don't want to use too much material. I'm just going to put this over to the side. Always close your materials after you're done with them so they don't leak or fall over and get everywhere or wasted. And the oil. This dropper is calibrated, so you don't have to squeeze it too hard. So I'm gently going to just put a drop here. You can always add more if you need it, and then I'm going to close this back. And just set it over to the side. I'm going to gently kind of just mix the material, make sure there's no hard spots in it, and I'm going to slowly pull some of the powder into the liquid. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to See how I'm bending the spatula? I'm going to try to incorporate the powder into the liquid and make sure the liquid gets mixed in. That's how the material works. You have to just kind of, I don't know if, if you heard that on the um, alginate material, they say spatulate. We're gonna do the same thing again. Mix this in here. See how it's starting to just kind of change from the powder, kind of get a little harder i to bring in a little more because we want to be able to roll this into a ball. <clears throat> I'm going a little slower just because I want you to be able to see how the material mixes. You see how I'm kind of pushing this? I'm not keeping it straight. I'm pushing with a little bit of force. As you get faster and faster with this, it won't take as long to do. I'm just going to kind of incorporate it a little more. I'm kind of folding the bottom over to the top, making sure, <laughs> excuse me, it just all gets mixed in. There we go. Just gonna incorporate a little more, push the oil into the powder, and then we're gonna roll it into a ball. See how everything you're gonna gets mixed in there? Scoop it up. So roll it into a little ball. There we go. So we can take some of this, just cut a little half of that, since our prep site's not that big, and we're going to put this in there, use the plastic end of the instrument. Then I'm gonna take the condenser end, use my fulcrum, push, 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 condense it in. <clears throat> going to just take it, we want to push it down so the material stays inside the prep site. Wipe off any excess with the other end. We want to kind of make it concave so when the top tooth or when the top tooth, sorry, this is the top, when the bottom tooth bites down, they won't have anything to bite down onto so they're not going to hit too hard and cause any kind of trauma to this tooth. I'm just going to remove that here.
There we go. Use your finger, make sure it's smooth, and there we go. Last but not least, I'm going to take an alcohol two by two, just one. Close it back up and always clean off your instruments. Don't leave anything behind that's dirty because we have to make sure that everything's cleaned off because we use these over and over and over. So you want to make sure your spatula is clean. Wipe off that. Wipe off the fire rim. And now we're done with fire rim. And that's how you do it.